Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're checking out the new Insta360 Studio 2024. They've updated it, they made some huge changes. So I'm gonna dive into it in a minute and show you my exact process of how I edit 360 footage. You can of course use it for editing normal footage from the Ace Pro, the Ace, the Insta360 Go 3. There's loads of things you can do with it. They've drastically improved it and they've turned it into more of a complete editing software so you could use this standalone if you wanted to. So it's really impressive. So let's dive straight into the software and see what the update is all about. Right, so this might look very familiar to you. Basically, this is what it looked like before. This is what you could do. You could add your keyframes along the bottom of the timeline. You've got all the files on the left-hand side from your device. Then you've got the 360 mode or you've got the reframe mode. And then you've got all these options here to change the stabilization. You've got stitching um, and then you've got media processing, image processing. You can add a logo and then you could create different projects. So if you edited this file and you did like the way that you edited the keyframes you could create a new project and just start again and then you've got all the information about your shot and how you recorded this uh, particular bit of footage but now they've added another folder called project so basically what you do is you dive into this project once you've edited on the media platform then the uh, keyframes stay where they are and they import it into the project so whatever keyframes you put on your media so you can go through different shots that you want to add and keyframe them like you normally would then you go to the project it imports all of those uh, bits of media that you've edited with the keyframes already on so you can see this is like a whole editing software this is sort of what you'd expect from a normal editing software very similar to something like uh, Final Cut Pro you've got these windows so you've got this big window in the middle and we can adjust these by the way left and right and then you've got this one up and down I'm gonna bring the timeline up just a little bit so I can see this is what we're editing on the bottom so let's start top left uh, you've got media which is all the media that you've imported in here you have got the temporary files and then you've got music so you've now got a bunch of music already in here so it's royalty free music that you can download straight from Insta360 which is great you can download all of these tracks you've got loads in here to choose from that's um, amazing and you can actually favorite these so if you like a particular track like I like this one that I'm gonna be using I'm gonna favorite it and then it will show up in your favorite tracks there you've also got text not just text but you've got animated text which is crazy you could spend a lot of money buying different titles from people like motion vfx for instance like i have personally or, or you could spend a lot of time creating these sort of animated titles yourself um, but here you've got a bunch of different animated titles that you can use for free you can just download them you've got hot you've got titles you've got time ones which is great if you're doing a vlog you can add the time in there you've got holiday ones and then you've got travel ones which is great so i presume they're going to update these as well as time goes on they'll add new ones for you so you've got all those titles in there it's, it's really good to have those it makes things a lot easier and then you've got transitions and there is lots and lots of transitions you've got 360 transitions you've got camera movements special effects glitch transitions and basic transitions so um we're going to stick to the just click on transitions so we've got them all in there on the right hand side you've got the project so whatever project you're editing on this timeline uh, if you don't know what a timeline is this is the timeline where you add your footage you can chop it up clip it you can add text overlays on top and then music underneath and then whatever you're editing here shows up in the project being played on the right hand side so I'll give you a little bit of a a taste of what it's going to sound like um, you've also got the project info on the side then you can export it and you've got these things on the bottom which is the timeline so let's talk about the timeline you can press these little buttons but there are keyboard shortcuts which if you press this button it tells you all the shortcuts that you can press so it's if you've used any kind of editing software in the past it's pretty familiar a lot of the buttons are the same um, so you've got uh, redo undo you've got um, split which is command B which for blade uh, you've got trim to beginning which is Q and then trim to the end which is uh, W so the Q and the W are together that makes sense and then you've got delete which is just delete uh, you've got your project settings where you can add a new project exit project or delete project in here and then we've got this on the side which is very familiar to, like so the same as sort of Final Cut Pro where you've got main track magnet you've got snapping and you've got preview axis and you can actually change the zoom in part here as well 
so it's pretty familiar then you've got three tracks you've got well you've got three to start with you can add text you can add uh, video and then you can add music underneath and as you can see i've imported these files in that i've edited previously and they've got the keyframes on there that i've edited in the media file so that's it's, it's basically like using a fully fledged editing software. So let me just zoom in to this bit a little bit and I'll show you exactly what I want to do. So we can see that it, um, we're moving along. We've got music underneath. Let's just add a title to start with. So we've got text and I want to add this little vlog one. So you, all you do is drag it on top. It's so easy. And then you've got this. Having a good day in the vlog and you can extend that out if you want to and you can also go on to the project being played and you can make it a little bit bigger if you want to. You can rotate it left and right like so. So it's a fully fledged editing software. It's really great and the fact that it's animated is pretty crazy. So we've got the music underneath. Let's just mute that for the time being for when I'm going to just show you how to edit a couple of clips together. So I've got this starting clip. Once I get to the end of the title, for instance, what I want to do is just press Command B and it gives you a little bit of a split. We'll drag that back so it's there. Um, and then we can add a transition. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of that and I'm going to go to my media and I'm going to add a little bit more media in here. So which one was I walking around? I'm just going to put that one in there to start with. So uh, this is a bit of a media and this is me walking and that's pretty much it. I didn't add any keyframes to this one. And then we'll just snap it off there. But if I want to get rid of that bit I just press command x and it deletes it then we're going to go to this bit here and I'm just add a little bit of a transition so what transition should we go for should we go for a teleport a warp and it gives you like a little preview of what it looks like as well if you hover your mouse over the top which is pretty cool um let's go for uh let's go for a teleport all you do is drag that over on the top and then when you go between clips it gives you that transition which is great those transitions again there aren't transitions like that in normal software. There are, but not sort of teleport and warp and blur and shift left and stuff. You have to sort of, in a fully fledged editing software, play with those yourself a little bit, and it can get quite te tedious and like time consuming. With this, it's really easy. You can actually change the length of this transition as well, left and right. So if you want it a little bit longer, you can go like so. Woof. That's a really cool transition. I do like that. And then let's just add another bit of text on the top. So let's just tell everybody what time of day it is. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's go there. Let's drag this one. So all you do is download it to start with. Takes seconds to download it. And then we just drag it on top. So that's the date. And we can put it down the right hand side if we want to. Uh, and then if you want to edit this, you can. You've got the time on the side and we'll put Saturday which is cool. And then that's that's really, really cool. So that's really, really incredible that they've done this. And it really is a fully fledged editing software now. You can edit all your keyframes in the media page and then go into the project, create a new project, and then put all these clips together and edit a fully fledged video without having to export and then sort of export it again and edit it in another software and then export it again or even do it in the app. You can actually edit in the app. The same still goes where you record your footage, transfer it to your phone, add some keyframes, do what you want to do, and then you can export that footage and actually transfer it to the application and carry on editing in the media file and then export that and put it into a project and then carry on editing it in the studio to create a fully fledged video with transitions now. You've got music that you can add and with those title animated effects as well. So it really is, I'm really, I'm really shocked actually, and it is a sign of what's to come from Insta360 this year. They are really thinking about how people use these cameras, and that's why I'd say picking a 360 camera over a normal action camera is personally is my preference because it gives you a lot more flexibility, especially now the software is so good and so easy to use. Everything just works seamlessly from the app to the studio to the export process. It really is fantastic. So I'm really impressed with the updates into 360. I expect big things from you this year. I'm looking forward to see what other camera releases and other things that improve the software we're going forward with the in I mean you've got the whole AI thing as well so let's see what happens I'm really impressed with this it's a great update to the Insta360 Studio 2024 okay that's it for this one really impressive Insta360 Studio 2024 if you like this video you might like this one and check out that one that's something that you might like I'm pretty sure uh, give me a subscribe as well it really does
does help. We've got lots of new camera releases, lots of new products, lots of new videos coming over the coming months or so. So yeah, stay tuned. See you on the next one, guys. Bye.